Hello everyone. Welcome to Kavin English Learning Channel. Today, I'm going to teach you some words to describe your feelings. Remember, if you want to talk in English fluently, you should know some vocabularies and how to use these vocabularies as well. So today I'm going to teach you some few words to describe your feelings. The first word is calm. Calm. Please calm down. Please calm down. Calm down means quiet or peaceful. If someone is upset or agitated, you can tell them to calm down. Second word is energetic. Energetic. Tom is an energetic person. Tom is an energetic person. If someone has a lot of energy, you can say they are energetic. You can use this if someone is really active or hyper. Happiness. Happiness. Happiness is the noun form of the word happy. When you are happy, you are experiencing happiness. The other word is emotional. Emotional. My friend gets so emotional when she talks about politics. If someone shows very strong feelings about something, you can say they are being emotional. If a movie or a song or something else makes you feel like crying from happiness or sadness, you can say it as emotional. Anger. Anger. You have to control your anger. Anger is a thing you feel when you are angry. If something really bothers or annoying you, uh, annoying you, it makes you feel angry. The next word is jealousy. Jealousy. Jealousy is an ugly thing. Jealousy is an ugly thing. Jealousy is what you feel when you are unhappy that someone else succeeded. It's also something you feel if you think your boyfriend or girlfriend likes someone else. Excitement. Excitement. The thought of going to Disney World fills me with excitement. If you are really looking forward to, to something fun, you can say that you feel exciting. Grumpy. The next word is grumpy. I'm always grumpy in the morning until I have some coffee. If someone is grumpy, it means they are not happy and you probably should, should leave them alone. A grumpy person usually seems really negative. <clears throat> remorseful. I feel pretty remorseful about how I quit my job. Feeling remorseful about something is similar to something uh, to sorry about something. Feeling remorseful about something is similar to sorry about something. Proud. Proud. I am really proud of my son for making such good grades. Feeling proud of someone is when you feel really good about them for something they did. You can also feel proud of things you've done like if you are proud of how hard you worked. Okay, the next word is ambitious. You are ready to set more ambitious goals for yourself. Having or showing a strong desire and determination to succeed. Having or showing a strong desire and determination to succeed. Optimistic. 
My grandfather was always optimistic about people, hopeful and confident about the future or good things will happen in future. Okay everyone, hope you all enjoyed and understood today's words to describe feelings very well. So do practice this type of vocabularies each and every day and improve your English language skill. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. I will meet you soon with an interesting lesson later. Bye.